Hello and welcome to Sorority Vision. It is such a pleasure to have you here today. So, since this is your first time here, I'm going to be asking you a couple of questions. Is that okay with you? Perfect. Okay, so let's just start off with the easy thing, the date. So, your first name? And last name? Is that an H? Okay. And your address? Your home phone number. Work number. Date of birth. Email address. So, what is the major purpose of the visit? Okay, just a checkup. Yearly checkup. Any problems with your current glasses or contact lenses? And your vision insurance? Policy number Okay, so have you been diagnosed or treated for the following? Cataract Corneal abrasion Eye infection Eye injury, glaucoma, iritis or uveitis, lazy eye, macular degeneration, retinal detachment, family history. Is there a family medical history of the following? Blindness Cataracts Corneal problems Retinal problems Glycoma Lazy eye Macular degeneration, diabetes, heart disease. Okay. Name of your primary care physician. Mm-hmm. And where is that office located? Date of your last physical checkup. Not too long ago. Great. Current medications, both prescription and over-the-counter.
Yes, vitamins too. Okay. Allergies to any medications? Have you ever been diagnosed or treated for the following? Allergies Asthma Arthritis Cholesterol Diabetes Heart disease High blood pressure Kidney Nerves And the thyroid So now we are going to go over your eye history So date of your last eye exam By whom? Do you currently wear contact lenses? What kind? Air optics The night and day What solution do you use? Okay The one from Bosch and Loom, okay Do you experience or have you experienced blurry vision? Floater slash spots in your vision? Tearing? Headaches? Sunlight sensitivity? Flash of light or flashes of light Crossed eye Itchiness Trouble seeing at night Uncomfortable glasses Burning of the eyes Grittiness of the eyes And double vision Thank you I know so many questions So, do you work at a computer? Or are you often on the computer? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you spend time outdoors? Do you have prescription sunglasses? At this moment, are you satisfied with your vision and the comfort of your glasses? Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and have a look at your glasses right now. So let's Take a look at your glasses. I'm just going to grab them off of your beautiful head. Okay. Hmm. So you've had these for about a year. They are really nice. I love this style.
and just go ahead and clean them off for you. The solution that we have here at the office is top notch. And it's very important to clean your glasses with the proper solution and the proper cleansing cloths so you don't scratch your lens. Ah, yes. Brand new. Look at that. <laughs> okay, let's pop these back on. Great. So, we are going to do the reading test. So here I have lines 1 to 11, 1 being the smallest print, 11 being the largest print. So with your glasses, I want you to read the smallest print possible, okay? Mm -hmm. So with your glasses, you can read number 1. Excellent. Read away. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Great. Okay. So now, I'm going to take off your glasses. And again, I want you to read the smallest line possible. Flip it over. Okay. Number seven. Okay. Read it off. Mm hmm. Good job. Okay, let me jot that down. So, you read number one with glasses and number seven without. Point of it down. Okay. Great. Now we are going to do the color deficiency test. So this is pretty fun. So we're going to pop these glasses back on you. And here I have this little book for color deficiency. The Ishara's test. Have you ever had this done to you? Okay, so I'm going to show you some images and I want you to tell me what number you see, okay? So here we go. Starting with this number here. Okay, so what do you see? Yes. Mm -hmm. That would be 12. Correct. Okay. 
this one here. Mm -hmm. Eight. Good job. And this one here. Mm -hmm. Very good. Eight and six. It gets a bit trickier. So what number do you see here? Mm-hmm. And here? Mm-hmm. Fifty-seven. That is correct. And what do you see here? What number? Mm-hmm. And this one here? Seventy-four. Correct. What number do you see here? Yes. And here? And six. How about here? Yes, and here? Excellent. Ninety seven and forty five. And here? Five, correct. Yes, seven. And here? Correct. And here? Good. Seventy three and sixteen. Do you see any images here? How about here? Don't worry if you don't see anything at all. How about here? And here? What do you see here? Correct. And here? Awesome. Correct. Twenty-six and forty-two. And the last two here. Correct. And this one. Thirty-five and ninety-six. So, 
So now I'm just going to show you some colored markers and I want you to tell me what color they are. Just a simple test. So what color is this? This one. This color. And this color. Mm -hmm. Pink. Pink, pink, pink. And lastly, this color. You did amazing. So, lastly again, I'm going to point at different colors and I want you to tell me which color it is. Okay. Yes, this is called a Holman Sphere. So, this color here Mm hmm And this color here. Yes. How about this color? Mm hmm And this color? Perfect. So all together we have green, purple, orange and pink. You did very well. Okay. So now we are moving on to the peripherals test. So for this test, I want you to keep your head straight. I don't want you to move your head to the right or to the left. I am going to take off your glasses yet again. And I want you to tell me how many fingers I am holding up. You are going to be covering your left side first. So I want you to take this and cover your eye. Okay? Perfect. So now, I'm going to be holding up my fingers and I just want you to tell me, without moving your head, how many fingers am I holding up? Can you see both hands? Great. Mm-hmm. Now, cover up your right eye. Okay. And I want you to go ahead and again, tell me how many fingers I'm holding up. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Excellent. Now you can keep that eye covered and we'll move back to the left eye yet again. But I'm going to hold up an object and I want you to tell me what that object is. Okay? (laughs) 
I'm making it pretty easy for you, yes. It is a pen, a gigantic pen. You are saying things correctly. Great. Okay. And one more object. Yes. Antibacterial soap. Or sanitizer. Perfect. Okay, so cover up your other eye, your left eye, and I will hold up yet another object. Yes, a comb. And one more. Perfect, yes, a brush. You did really, really good. So now it is time for the famous letter chart. So I'm going to move you a little closer, but not too close. And I want you to read off these letters to me. Okay? Okay, so I brought you a little closer. And I want you to go ahead and cover your left eye. Good job. And I'm going to point at the lines, and I want you to read them to me. Okay? As far as you can go. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know it's hard. Just try. Try your best. That's all that matters. Great. Now I want you to go ahead and cover your right eye. Okay? And again, start with line two. And the last line. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Excellent. So now what I want you to do is focus on line number six. I'm going to be using several different lenses and I want you to tell me which ones you can see in the line much more clear. Okay, so keep your left eye covered. And here we go. Let's just move you a bit closer. So again, we have lens one, and we have lens two, lens one, okay, so we have lens one, and Lens three. Lens one. And lens three. 
Ravens one still. Okay. Ravens four. Ravens two. Ravens four. Ravens two. Ravens two. Ravens five. Ravens one. Ravens one. Ravens five. Ravens two. Ravens two. Ravens two. Ravens one. Okay. Okay. Cover up your right eye. Okay. Lens one. Lens two. Again, lens one. Lens two. Lens two. Okay. Lens three. Lens two. Lens three. Lens two. Lens three. Lens four. Lens three. Lens four. Lens three. Lens five. Lens three. And five. And two. Okay. Three. And five. Okay, so it seems as though your left eye hasn't really changed at all, and your right eye has changed just a tad bit, but nothing to be alarmed about. So we'll just change up your prescription a tad. Excellent. Okay, so now for the fun stuff. I'm going to go ahead and grab my gloves. I will be applying a solution to your eyes. The solution is called fluorescein, and 
it's going to help your eyes get ready for the tonometer test which is used to check the pressure of your eyes so we can see if there's any signs of glaucoma. Now the solution may sting a bit at the most three seconds tops. You will also feel perhaps some pressure as the solution dilates your eyes. The solution also may give you a tinge of yellow, so don't be alarmed. And by the end of this, I will be giving you some glasses to put on before you leave the office, as you will have some sensitivity to light. Okay. This is the solution here. Just going to start over here at your left eye and just open it up a bit and just drop a couple of drops. One, two, three. Blink. Now just to take a moment, just close your eyes. Okay. You may taste a little bit in your mouth. I know that happens to me. Okay. Open up your eyes. Now, before we get into the uh, other tests, the tenometer and the autorefractor, which are two of our biggest machines, I'm going to manually check your eyes with my magnifying lens as well as this light. I'm going to start with your left eye here and I want you to look towards the right okay to look towards the left. Okay. 
I want you to look up and I want you to look down Okay, now close your eyes for a bit. Okay, open them up. Going to your right eye here. I want you to look to the left. to look to the right. Look up. Close your eyes for a couple of seconds. One, two, three, four, five. So now your eyes are good. Okay. I just want you to follow the light. It's just a simple little test. Okay. Don't move your head, just follow the light with your eyes. Just your eyes. It's just your eyes. Stay centered to me. Just look straight at me, okay? I'm just gonna graze the light over your eye. Okay. And your other eye here. Now we're going to switch rooms. We're going to go ahead and move to the room to the left. This is where we hold all of our machines. So we're going to start with the tonometer test. And again, that checks the pressure of your eyes. 
So with that test, you'll notice that there is a light that moves back and forth and grazes your eye and you'll feel a little bit of pressure, but that is completely normal. And then we have the autorefractor test, which sees inside the eye. I checked your eyes manually, but it's always best to use a machine. And this machine is very precise and won't miss a thing. So with the autorefractor, you're just going to focus on the hot air balloon. It will come in vision and it will leave in vision, sometimes blurry, sometimes clear. And I just want you to focus on the hot air balloon. So both of these tests are very, very simple and won't last long at all. Okay, let's go. So you want to put your head forward, chin on the chin rest, and your head on the band. You're going to see a few beams of light, and again, it may feel a bit like pressure or heat on your eyes, which is completely normal. This will only last a couple of seconds. You're doing great. Excellent. So this next test is called the autorefractor. It is a machine which measures the ability of your eyes to focus and gives an approximation of your prescription. So I want you to stare into the machine. I want you to look at the picture. In this case, it is a hot air balloon at the end of a long straight road. I want you to focus on the picture and you'll notice that the balloon appears to be brought closer and further away. Closer and further away. So focus on the hot air balloon. Focus. Focus. So how is this to test? Quick and painless. And that's what I love to hear. Okay, let's pop on these glasses. <laughs> Don't want you walking around blind. So I am going to go ahead and write out your new prescription as your left eye is pretty much the same, same prescription, but your right eye needs something a tad bit stronger, okay? So would you like to get glasses here or online? online. I hear ya. I hear ya. I do the same thing sometimes. I mean, sometimes you just get better deals. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the prescription. I'm going to have the office go ahead and print out your new prescription. That way you won't have trouble uh, purchasing some glasses online. Yeah, that's always the fun part, right? Mm-hmm. I agree, sometimes you can get three glasses for the price of one. Also, please take these with you. This will help with the light sensitivity because the sun will kill you. So, these are a bit flimsy, but they do the job. Actually, I really like you, so I'm going to go ahead and give you these as well. Okay. Some people will have sensitivity to the light that can last actually a couple of days after the solution. So hopefully that's not the case for you, but you can go ahead and take these as well and be a bit more fashionable. Of course, you would have to probably put them on top of your glasses, but hey, that might just be the new trend. Okay. So overall, your eyes are completely healthy. I would just recommend you coming back in another year for another checkup. You can do that ahead of time or you can wait. It is completely up to you. So again, just go ahead to the front desk office and get your prescription, and you can make another appointment if you'd like, and hopefully I will see you again. It was my pleasure.